everybody. How's it going out there this evening? Coming at you on Corn Cob Tuesday. You're right, that's not a corn cob, but I'm enjoying it just as much. This is a, let's see if you can see that with that shiny label, a Lagoria Cubana Siriar Esteli. Now they have the regular Siri R and then this is the Siri R Esteli. I've had the Siri R before, I really like those. I had, I bought a couple of these uh, Siri R Esteli and uh, bought them, went to the uh, local cigar shop, bought a couple of them there because I hadn't had them so I wanted to try them out. And I immediately had one there at the smoking lounge which is again kind of against my rules. I like to let them set for a while and it was not a good experience. It just it did not burn well. I mean, it was like a brick of charcoal. It all ashed up and caked up and fell to pieces. And I, I made it about halfway through, and that was it. Well, this is the second one. It's been sitting in my uh, humidor for a little over three months, I think. I looked to see. I looked at the date on it. When I pulled it out tonight, and I know it was March, but I don't remember exactly when in March. So roughly three months, maybe a little longer. I can't remember. Two or three months. It's been in there for, I was thinking I saw three months on it. Maybe it's February. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it's um, it's been sitting in there for a little while. And I will say the burn is considerably better on it which is typically what I find when I buy something from a brick and mortar when I let it sit in my humidor for a while that's why I like to let it sit for at least you know two or three weeks and then um, I'm still not too great on the flavor of it though you know it's okay it's not bad but this is not one based on this experience just totally forget the very first one based on this experience it's not one I'm going to go out and buy a bunch more of and when this first came out everybody was hyping and raving about how great it was and you know I guess you know again everybody's got their own taste and flavor profiles and things they like this to me excuse me this seems a little bit bitter um, nice cool smoke not incredibly strong Nice, thick, mouthy, is that a word? Mouthy smoke? But anyway, um, it's not a bad little cigar, but it's not, again, it's not one that'll go on my top list where I gotta go, you know, buy, I won't even buy a five pack of them. I'm not for sure I'd even put it in the buy again category. I might, if there's a great deal on them or something like that. But yes, I'm still smoking it. So it's not that bad, is it, right? Oh, so uh, it is Tuesday. Like I said, Corn Cop Tuesday. Thought I'd do a quick video before it got too dark out here. Sitting out here on the front porch with uh, little Buster. Hey, Buster. There he is. He likes to sit out here and just look and check on the neighborhood. He normally likes to sit out there on the grass, but it has been raining all day long. And I really don't want, and he would sit out there in the wet if I'd let him, but I don't want him sitting out there and getting all wet. So I do have him on the leash because if, you know, there happens to be a rabbit or a squirrel or something come by, oh, he's looking for a squirrel. Hey, Buster, you see a squirrel? Where'd the squirrel go? I don't see a squirrel. He wants to chase a squirrel. And so uh, he would take off, and it'd take me, I'd have to get the whole family out looking for him. No, sit. Now here's the kids down the down the uh, road playing basketball. And there's a car parked in the neighbor's driveway, so he can't see him. So he's got to, he wants to go out there and look at him and see what's going on. He won't chase him or anything, but he likes it. He's like I said before in one of the videos, he's a curious little dog, and so he likes to check things out. He's got to be in on everything and know what's going on. And so uh, anyway, thought I'd try to do a real quick catch-up video. It's been a while, I think a week since I'd been on. I've been watching everybody's uh, video. I know. Uh, bald pipe smoker he put out a video the other day saying the same thing you know he's working a lot when he does videos seems like he does a lot of them in bulk you know maybe do four or five videos at once and then you know just upload them or upload them all at once or whatever and so 
Um, I used to do that not as much anymore because it's like, man, it's like I don't even have a whole lot of time to do that. I was out running all day today. Pipe Pappy called me, and uh, I'm getting ready to call you back, Pipe Pappy. I'll, be, I'll talk to you by the time I've, uh, <clears throat> by the time this is up, <clears throat> if you see it. But uh, he called, and I was just. I mean, it. Well, I've been running since probably 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning. Because, you know, when you get one day off, and on that day off, I've said before, that's where I have to take my daughter down to her uh, rehab appointments. And so that keeps me busy doing that. And I'm running in between. Got my hair cut. There's only one up there, but it needs to be cut every now and then. I had to go renew the tags on both registration on both my wife and my car today. So you got to go down and wait in line to do that. And then, car insurance. Get this. I'll tell you a quick story and then I'll let y'all go. I'll try to keep it under 15 minutes. So I get a notification, oh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a renewal notification on car insurance. Car insurance is going to end, you know, it's time to renew, you know, re-up it for your next period. But they were raising my car insurance by $300. It's like this is okay I'm gonna start shopping for inch and I've been with this insurance company for well over 10 years probably probably close to 14 or 15 years and so in there not only do they raise it but they put a little notice in there it said we are raising your insurance due to one of these reasons below and they give you three reasons and they check off one of the reasons one of them is like a loss report or something basically where they've had to pay out which we haven't had any claims we had one claim against, well, we really didn't have a claim against them at all. Uh, several, four, mm, six or seven years ago, uh, my wife's car was parked and somebody backed into it. And so, we, of course, we call our insurance company, get a police report, blah, blah, blah. Well, it turns out the guy doesn't have insurance. And so our insurance company says, go fix it. We've already got you a rental car set up. Uh, take it to whatever shop. So we took it in. They fixed it, paid for the rental car and everything. And they said, it doesn't go against your record. It doesn't uh, raise your rates. You will take care of it because you're our client. It was your car. We will go after the other person and their insurance company. Well, of course, they didn't have insurance. We find out later. But still, it wasn't supposed to affect ours, which it never did. Our rates never went up. And again, that's several years ago. Um, anyway, another reason may have been credit report or something like that, which I, I always wondered about that. If I have a good credit report, does that make me a better driver? If I may have a poor credit report, am I a lousy driver? Or do they think somebody with a good credit report is not going to claim it, they're going to pay for it themselves? I don't know, but that wasn't checked. But what was checked was your driving record. We've raised your rates due to your driving record. So I'm thinking, what, the better I drive, the higher my insurance goes? Because I haven't had a ticket in two years or so, maybe. And so anyway, they give you instructions on how to, you know, if you want to find out what report we used and why we raised your rates, you know, we go through this other company, contact them, fill out this paperwork. So anyway, I go through all that and I get a thing and notice in the mail says, we can't figure out why. We don't find you in our system. Uh, we can't validate any of your information in there. Um, fill, they sent me like a six page form to fill out, fill all of this stuff out, send it back in and we'll see what we can find out. I'm not doing that. So I grab all of that paperwork, go down to the insurance, go down to my local office today, my insurance agent. I walk into her office. She sees me coming in with all this. She says, what's going on? She says, somebody raise your rates. I said, yes, they sure did. I lay it all out there. And so she calls their headquarter office and she gets on the phone with some guy, spends probably 30 minutes on the phone and she's talking to him and says, well, it's because of a ticket. I'm like a ticket when? So she's talking back and forth two and a half years ago. I got a speeding ticket. Well, that's probably about right. That's probably my last ticket. I've probably got about three or four in the past five years, but none of them up till two and a half years ago. I knew it had been a couple years. And so she's asking the guy, she says, so he's been a client all this time 
and just out of the blue, which apparently that's what they did, out of the blue, they just run driving reports or credit reports or whatever reports and decide to raise your rates. And she says, two and a half years ago, they raise it by $300? She says, that doesn't seem right. She says, was it so fast it was, I don't know, reckless or endangering or negligence or no, just a you know, regular speeding ticket like 17 miles an hour over or whatever, not in a school zone, not in a construction zone, you know, nothing like that. No accidents. And she tells the guy, she says, something doesn't seem right here. She says, well, let's look at this, let's look at this, let's look at this, let's look at loyalty, multi-car, blah, 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 let's go through all of this. And... So now she's on the phone, she's on hold, and I'm telling her that I'm not paying this 300 extra, that if they can't figure this out, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll go shop elsewhere. It doesn't matter to me. I can find another insurance company. And, and she says, well, hold on. i got to go through proper channels. So anyway, she gets off the phone uh, with him, and she says, okay, here's what we got. And if this doesn't work, she says, this should be in the system official within 48 hours by the time everything catches up. After that time, if it's not what I'm telling you now, I'll call the underwriter directly. So anyway, she gets on there calculating, you know, it's almost like a cartoon, you know, numbers flying, paper going on the computer. She prints out a new renewal policy thing. Here's your new renewal policy, and it's like $50 less than, not the raise, but $50 less than what I would paid the previous uh, year for insurance. So win-win I uh, did not <coughs> excuse me I did not expect that at all and so hey it never and I do I even though I'm with the same company for so long and this is one of the reasons because they've, they've always taken care of me I've never ever had an issue and the same thing happens smoking a cigar with the pipe when you get to making a video and you get to talking and you're not paying attention the thing goes out so I'll have to relight this guy here in a minute and so, uh, anyway, uh, it never hurts. Go in and talk to them. When you're, even if your renewal's not up, go in and say, hey, are, am I missing any discounts? Or is there, you know, do I get a loyalty discount even? Or a whatever. You know, I'm getting ready to do shopping for insurance. And I just want to, since I'm already with you, this is kind of my, my approach. I'm already with you guys. I like you guys. But I'm not going to be taken advantage of. And so, um I'm getting ready to go shop for insurance. Give me your price so I know whether when I get a price from somebody else, whether to stay with you or go ahead and go with them. So anyway, but they took care of me. I was surprised. So um, it not only knocked the $300 raise off, it took another 50 off. So reduced it by $50 normally, or I'm sure they're going to say, oh, we gave you a $350 discount, which is bull crap. I got a $50 off. But I did not get $300 off because I wasn't paying that anyway. And so, anyway, that's what I've been doing today. And so, uh, dealing with insurance and tag, all tax stuff, all bunch of crappy stuff that, you know, you don't like to deal with, but you have to. And so, anyway, got all that taken care of. I uh, thought I'd come out here and relax. Uh, go back on call at midnight tonight. So, there goes Buster. He sees the neighbors coming in. Boy, he is ready to go see him and see what's going on. It's all right, Buster. Oh, oh what's happening over there? Yeah, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. They're leaving now. They're going in. Oh, he wants to run over there and see what's going on. He loves to just sit. We'll uh, open the open the uh, the window blinds or whatever. To where he can sit there and he'll just I mean he could he'll sit there for an hour and just look out the window and look and stare and see what's going on he loves being but he loves being outside with somebody too I mean he'll go out and run around the backyard and play uh, but then typically you know he's back in in a few minutes if you go out there and sit sit on we got a swing in the back as well you go out there and sit on the back porch swing and with him out there he'll run around and play and come see you and then go out and you know play and run and sit and watch and just stay out there for hours so he loves being outside so anyway that's it guys i'm at 15 minutes i'm gonna let y'all go uh thanks for hanging in i uh, appreciate it 
I'm going to light this guy up, finish it, and then I'm going to hit the hay tonight. Oops, look at that. Right as I try to hold my phone, put it right in the in the uh, right in the lens. So anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, thanks for hanging out, watching. Thanks for all the likes and subscribes. I know I've got a lot of new subscribers. Um, the ones I know of, I try to, you know, give you a thanks. Uh, some of them, of course, you don't know. They've either got it marked for private or whatever, which is fine. But uh, thanks for everybody out there who watches and gives me a thumbs up. And uh, get a few thumbs down occasionally, but that's all right. Let's me know people are out there watching. Keeps the activity level going. So that's what we like. We like activity on these uh, videos. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all activity and it all counts. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We'll catch you later.